All right, time now for more video commentary. Now, I know that there are many of you legions of warrior nation who are wondering if I'm aware of the most recent rash of anti-trans bills being passed across this country in which target transgender athletes involved in female sports. And yes, I am aware, legions. And you know what? I think that this is, and I'm not going to mince any words like I normally do in this segment, this is total, absolute bullshit. Since when the hell do we, in this great country, the United States of America, discriminate against an entire certain group of individuals because of their gender identity based on outdated 1970s science, when the most recent studies of gender identity, genetic development, and bodily chemistry clearly show without a shadow of a doubt that there are more than two genders, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what certain politicians, including some members of Congress, most notably Republicans, like Marjorie Taylor Greene, Jim Jordan, and others have to say. But however, Despite this groundbreaking genetic research, states like Idaho, North Carolina, Ohio, Kentucky, and most recently, as of this past weekend, the United States House of Representatives have all passed bills along party lines in which would completely ban all transgender athletes from female sports altogether regardless of any science whatsoever. Now that, I have a little bit of a problem with. Now, besides the obvious small difference, quote, up, up front, down below, quote unquote, so to speak, how in the hell do you distinguish someone like NCAA National Champion swimmer Leah Thomas from someone like fellow competitor Riley Gaines? Or actresses Casey Kisses, Cora Del Rio, Chloe Key, or Nixie Leon, from Bo Derek, Daryl Hannah, Cindy Margolis, or Nikki Zeri. Now, how do you answer that one? In my opinion, trans women are just as much women, much like any one of the others I mentioned, no matter what anyone says. Many of them, such as the ones I mentioned earlier, like Casey Kisses, Cora Del Rio, Chloe K, or even Nixie Leon, happen to be very beautiful looking, in my opinion. And if you're open enough, open-minded enough to look past the obvious difference up front, down below, quote unquote, they can be quite fun to be with. They are just as smart, just as bright, and just as savvy as anyone else. Don't let their gender, their gender identity take away anything from them as people. But getting back just a second to the whole anti-trans sentiment in these legislations being passed in this country, these kind of bills could extend far beyond even just sports. In fact, this could be actually open up a whole Pandora's box if you ask me. This could open the door for even more discriminatory anti-trans laws in which could discriminate them from things like equal housing opportunities, employment opportunities, marriage rights, and even protections against anti-trans violence by those in far-right extremist groups like the Proud Boys and the likes. And this coming against what is considered at, by many as one of the most vulnerable communities in this country. In fact, since 2013, according to the Human Rights Campaign and by the FBI, since they included them in their hate crime statistics, there have been a staggering 302 violence-related deaths amongst the trans community, many of them fueled by right-wing media outlets extreme religious zealots, and mega politicians. And there are also thousands of deaths by suicide annually, too, 
as the trans community is extremely prone to that because of all the hate bill rhetoric and by the way that they are treated by the society at large. They are not freaks, ladies and gentlemen. They are people. This bullshit has got to stop. And the only way to stop this is to get out and vote for the only people who actually care about all of our citizens in this country and not just those who happen to contort to being white, straight, and Christian. Thank you. So come this November 2024, don't let the GOP and the mega extremists that dominate that party boss you around and let their far-right talking points become the basis for such BS draconian and hate-filled and mean-spirited legislation. Tell all your friends to get out there and vote for Democrats. What do you think? I'm Ray Jackson, and that's my two cents. And if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my other two YouTube channels, Big HMWTV and the Atari Report. You'll find those in the featured channels list at the bottom of this particular channel's homepage. Big HMWTV, the Atari Report, and the official Ray Jackson YouTube channel. All proud parts of the Big HMW network of websites.